Our lives unfold in ways that may sometimes feel random, but in truth they're guided by a set of universal principles, invisible threads that weave the fabric of our existence. Think of these principles not as rigid rules, but as pathways guiding us towards greater harmony and fulfillment. They're ever present subtly influencing the e and flow of our daily lives. At the heart of the principles lies a simple yet profound truth. The universe is a symphony of energy frequencies and vibrations. Every thought we have, every action we take, resonates through this cosmic orchestra, creating ripples that shape our reality. It's a dance of cause and effect where our inner world reflects our outer experiences by understanding and aligning with these principles. We can learn to conduct the symphony of our lives with greater attention. And clarity here are the laws that govern this intricate dance one, the law of mentalism, a concept as vast as the universe yet, as intimate as our innermost thoughts unveils a profound truth. The universe is a creation of the mind. Imagine the universe as an infinite canvas where every stroke, every free free. Color is a manifestation of thought. This law suggests that that the universe and everything within it, including our Personal realities are shaped by the thoughts and intentions that flow through the collective consciousness at its core mentalism, posits that we are not mere spectators in the universe, but active participants in its creation. Each of us possesses a universe within dealing with potential shaped by our thoughts and beliefs. This internal universe is powerful, capable of influencing not only our personal experiences, but also contributing to the collective tapestry of reality. To harness the law of mentalism is to recognize the power of our thoughts. It's not just about positive thinking. It's about understanding that our mental state is the architect of our reality. Think of your mind as a garden. That thoughts you cultivate, whether they be seeds of love, joy, or success, or grow and manifest in your life, just as a gardener nurtures their garden tending to it with care and attention, so too must we nurture our thoughts. The implications of mentalism are vast. If our thoughts shape our reality, then by changing our thoughts, we can change our reality. This doesn't mean that simply wishing for something will make it appear. Rather, it's about aligning our thoughts with our actions and intentions. It's about creating a mental blueprint of what we desire, and then actively working towards that vision, understanding the law of mentalism, also invites us to ponder the interconnectedness of all things our thoughts are not isolated bubbles. They ripple across the collective mind influencing and being influenced by the thoughts of others. This interconnectedness suggests that by elevating our thoughts, we don't just improve our own lives, we contribute to the collective well-being. The law of mentalism is a call to mindfulness. It asks us to be aware of our thoughts, to understand their power, and to use them wisely. It reminds us that we are co-creators of our reality, capable of shaping not only our lives, but the very fabric of the universe with the power of our minds too. The law of correspondence, a principle as timeless as the stars whispers at. Simple yet profound truth. The outer world is a mirror of our inner self. This law encapsulated in the ancient adage, as above, so below, as below. So above reveals that there is a harmonious and inextricable lake between our physical reality and our innermost thoughts and feelings. Imagine your life as a lake. The thoughts and emotions that stir within you are like the winds that dance across its surface when your inner world is turbulent, filled with anxiety and unrest. It creates ripples across the lake, disturbing its peace conversely. When your inner world is serene and harmonious, the lake reflects this tranquility, remaining calm and undisturbed. This law suggests that our external circumstances are not just random events happening to us, but rather reflections of our internal state. If we find ourselves in a reality filled with chaos and challenges, it might be a sign that we need to delve into our inner world to seek and heal the turmoil within. Similarly, when we cultivate inner peace and harmony, our external world begins to mirror these qualities. To harness the law of correspondence is to embark on a journey of self reflection and inner alignment. It's not about seeking external solutions to internal problems, but rather finding inner peace and balance that then manifests in our external world. 
This law empowers us showing that by changing our inner world, we can change our outer world Wayne Dyer's insight. Change the way you look at things and the things you look at change captures the essence of this law. It's about shifting. Our perspective understanding that our external reality is a reflection of our internal landscape when we find joy, peace, and happiness within ourselves without relying on external sources. We begin to see the world in a new light. The law of correspondence invites us to INR to find harmony within ourselves. By doing so, we align our inner and outer worlds, creating a life that reflects our inner peace. And harmony, it reminds us that the key to transforming our reality lies not in changing the world around us, rather that changing ourselves three, the law of polarity, this teaches us that everything has an opposite, and these opposites are in fact varying degrees of the same thing this concept is eloquently summarized. In the Kelly and everything is dowels, everything has poles, opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. It's a dance of contrasts where light and dark joy and sorrow, peace and turmoil are simply different faces of the same coin. Consider the E and flow of the tides governed by the moon's pool. High tide and low tide may seem like opposites, but they're part of the same cycle. Similarly, our experiences of happiness and sadness, while appearing as opposites, are simply different points on them. Spectrum of human emotion, this law suggests that all things exist on a contend and the extremes are just different. Expressions of the same essence, the law of polarity also teaches us about balance and perspective. Often we find ourselves caught in the swing between these polarities, leading to a state of unrest. However, by understanding this law, we can learn to find equilibrium. It's not about choosing one pole over the other, but Rather, finding a harmonious balance between the two to harness the law of polarity is to master them. Art of transformation, it involves consciously shifting our perspective and energy from one pole to another, for example, transforming hate into love or fear into courage, is not about denying one in favor of the other. Instead, it's about recognizing that these emotions are interconnected and choosing. To focus on the more empowering pole in spiritual terms, this duality dissolves the spiritual realm transcends. These polarities uniting them into a singular oneness. When we focus on the divine, the universal consciousness, or the great spirit, we rise above the polarities of the physical and mental realms by finding the good in every situation, by infusing every thought and action with a higher purpose we align. Ourselves with this oneness? Ultimately, the law of polarity teaches us about the transformative power of perspective. It reminds us that while we may not have control over every circumstance, we always have the power to choose our response by embracing this law. We learn to navigate the dualities of life with grace, finding balance and peace in the middle path for the law of vibration. The entire universe is in a constant state of motion Everything from the tenuous particles to the vastest galaxies is vibrating. Pulsating with energy, this law underpins the notion that everything is energy, and it's this energy that forms the foundation of our experiences and reality. At the heart of this concept is the understanding that at the most fundamental level, everything in the universe is composed of particles that are in perpetual motion. This motion generates vibrations, which in turn influence the nature of our reality. It's akin to the strings of a music IAAL instrument. Each string vibrates at a different frequency to produce a distinct note. Similarly, every object, thought, and emotion has its own unique vibrational frequency. The law of vibration is closely linked to the law of attraction, which posits that like energy. Attracts like energy. This means the energy we emit through our thoughts, emotions, and actions attracts experiences that resonate with that same energy. Therefore, if we emit positive high-frequency vibrations, we attract positive experiences and vice versa. Nikola Tesla, a pioneer in understanding the nature of the universe family, said if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy frequency and vibration, this encapsulates the essence of the law of vibration by aligning our personal vibration with that 
Frequency of what we desire, we set the stage for it to manifest in our lives. To utilize the law of vibration, it's crucial to become conscious of our internal vibrations. This involves not just our thoughts, but also our emotions and physical state, for instance, feelings of joy, love, and gratitude. Vibrate at higher frequencies and thus have the power to attract experiences that resonate with these emotions, covertly fear anger. And despair vibrate at lower frequencies and can attract negative experiences in practical terms. This means cultivating a mindset and emotional state that aligns with what we aspire to achieve. Before we continue, I'd like to mention our Better Life store. You'll find a variety of items there to inspire and uplift you from motivational mugs for your morning coffee to t-shirts with Empower Powering Quotes Check. Out these fantastic products just click the link in the description below. It's about more than just thinking positively. It's about creating a holistic vibrational match with our desired outcomes. This can be achieved through practices like meditation, mindfulness, and gratitude, which help elevate our overall vibration. The law of vibration teaches us that by consciously tuning our personal frequency to align with the vibrations of what we wish to attract, we can shape our reality. It's a powerful reminder that we are active participants in the creation of our own experiences and that our inner state is a key determinant of our external circumstances. Five, the law of cause and effect. The law of cause and effect often epitomized by the phrase, as you sow, so shall you reap, is a timeless principle that governs the interconnect. Connectedness of all actions and outcomes. This law posits that every action cause has a corresponding reaction effect, and this cycle perpetuates continuously. It's a universal truth that pies across all planes of existence, physical, mental, and spiritual, though its manifestations may differ in each at. Its essence, this law highlights the profound impact of our thoughts, intentions, and actions on the spiritual plane, the link. Between cause and effect is immediate reflecting the direct and unobstructed flow of energy in the spiritual realm. However, in the physical and mental planes, the effects of our actions are often not instantaneous. Due to the constraints of time and space, this delay can sometimes obscure the connection between our actions and their consequences to leverage the law of cause and effect in our lives requires a deep awareness of our thoughts and actions. The power of thought is particularly significant here. Everything be entertained is like planting a seed in the garden of reality. The more attention and energy we give it, the more likely it is to flourish. Creative visualization is a powerful tool in this context. By vividly imagining our desired outcomes, we imbue these thoughts with energy effectively. Setting the wheels of cause and effect and motion toward realizing these goals, it's crucial, however, to maintain a positive focus, negative thoughts and fears, when dwelled upon can also manifest into reality, guided by the same law this law empowers us with the understanding that we are the architects of our reality, the choices we make, the thoughts we nurture, and the actions we take are all pivotal in shaping. Our experiences by consciously focusing on positive constructive thoughts and intentions, we can influence the effects that manifest in our lives. Remember, ever thought and action is a cause set in motion. By choosing our causes wisely and with intention, we can steer our lives towards the outcomes. We desire in essence, the law of cause and effect reminds us of our role as conscious creators shaping. Our reality with every thought and deed six, the law of rhythm, it states that everything moves in a rhythmic pattern akin to the pendulum of a clock swinging back and forth. This law is encapsulated in the same from the Kellen, everything flows out and in all things rise and fall. The pendulum swing manifests in everything. Rhythm compensates. This universal rhythm is evident in the natural world around us that changing ASA seasons, the lunar cycles, the E and flow of tides, and even the cyclical patterns of economies and societies, just as the Earth orbits the Sun in a predictable pattern, so too do various aspects of our lives. Follow rhythmic cycles. It's an eternal dance of highs and lows of growth and retreat of expansion and contraction. Understanding the law of rhythm can be incredibly empowering, especially.
When we face challenges or setbacks, when we recognize that life is inherently rhythmic, we understand that downturns are not permanent, just as the night gives way to dawn difficult periods in our lives are often followed by times of recovery and growth in practical terms this law advises us to. Maintain a balanced perspective during both the highs and lows of life when things are going well. It reminds us to stay grounded and prepared for potential challenges. Conversely, during tough times, it encourages us to remain hopeful and resilient knowing that the pendulum will eventually swing back in a positive direction to utilize the law of rhythm. Effectively, one must adopt a mindset of resilience and optimism. It's about maintaining your inner equilibrium and not getting too swayed by the external ups and downs. By understanding that life is a series of cycles, we can better navigate through its phases with grace and poise. Moreover, this law teaches us to flow with life's rhythms rather than resisting them. It's about harmonizing with the natural cycles of our existence, understanding that each phase has its purpose and value. This approach can lead to a more fulfilling and balanced life where we are attuned to the natural rhythms of the universe and ourselves. Seven, the law of gender. The law of gender succinctly encapsulated in the Kellen reveals a fundamental principle of the universe. Gender is in everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Gender manifests on all planes. This law extends beyond physical. Gender differences delving into the metaphysical realm where masculine and feminine energies are. Present in all aspects of creation and consciousness in nature, the interplay of masculine and feminine forces is evident in the duality of species, the structure of atoms, and even the polarities of magnetic fields. These forces are not just physical phenomena, they represent deeper energetics, principles that are vital for the process of creation and balance in the universe. On a personal level, the law of gender is about recognizing and harmonizing these dual energies within ourselves. Each individual possesses a blend of masculine yan and feminine yin qualities. Masculine traits often manifest as logic, action, and strength, while feminine traits may present as intuition, nurturing, and empathy utilizing this law effectively involves acknowledging and integrating both these energies by embracing our masculine side. We can develop assertiveness and analytical skills simultaneously nurturing our feminine side, allows us to cultivate compassion, creativity, and emotional intelligence. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing for more similar content.